here I'm going to uh, blab about the stuff I normally blab about. Sorry, I'm feeling a little sick today, so I got my uh, whoever that Armstrong guy voice going on. Anyway, so we all know that what I thought here was one, two, three, four, five, and then this crap happened. Now, if we take the first thing that I did was go top to bottom here. And this is actually called a demarc retracement, the way that I'm, the style that I'm doing it. And so we do that. And I'm going to move that to the side for right now. And we're actually going to do this one first. Trend line. Sure, that works. Okay, trend line. Upper trend line. bracket top to bottom duplicate and from the bottom okay so the target is right there at about 12,500 on the Dow so that's the first part second part is that where are we where are we where are we okay second part I take my retracement the bracket again and you know that in Elliott Wave Analysis it goes A, B, C. So that was A. I'm not using the, the uh, correct time symbols, but don't worry about it. That was B. I was screaming it was a fool's rally the entire time. And now we're in C, which is generally the more damaging part of uh, where people actually start to get bearish. So C is going to be from like, it's going to be like this area. All right, so... As far as targets go, if, and that's a big if, if this is in fact a top, and our target right here is about uh, 12,500 on, on the Dow or DIA, and if this was the first retracement block for Wave A, all we need to do is just move it down here. And, wow, what do you know? The target on this one is a tiny bit over 12,500. Okay, now, what if that's wrong? What's what's the next thing that could happen? Okay, so I take bottom to top again. Project the 161. And if everything is wrong and things do go straight to hell, that means that our price target's actually closer to here. Do I think it's going to happen? Nah. 12,500. Uh, 12,500 that's the level to go to and with this small movement here if it was going to extend and go even lower that would mean that it would have to do so very quickly and actually the cyclical low the 144 day cycle which I follow very closely the low is actually scheduled to be this week so don't worry about this too much there will be some good buy buying opportunities later this week now next time we have one of these corrections, that's when we want to start getting a little uh, nervous, by the way. Looking to buy in BVN. Eventually, like around 40 bucks. Alright. Enjoy.